I'm not like actually like set up yet, so I'm <laughs> just hitting it because I know what happens. People will be like, "It didn't start when he said it start," so uh, so you get that. <clears throat> but priorities are priorities, so I'm gonna get music going. Uh, music, where's music? There we go. It's probably gonna be very loud. Oh, not really. Oh, did YouTube update? Something's weird. Yeah, they. Oh, it's actually kind of cool. Oh, I changed stuff too. Hold on. All right, I think that should be about. about where it was? All right. And I gotta do posting stuff. See, I am way behind. Uh, there, were, uh, there was like vice presidents at work today, so it was a little harder to leave the ten or fifteen minutes early I needed to make sure I got home in time because of the bad traffic. So, in that case, instead you get um, me coming home. Let me get, put it slightly more exciting then. Awesome. Well, not even going to let me minimize that. That's wonderful. Uh, Alright. Well, forgetting how to do stuff. There, you can look at pretty pictures. Um... Hey, you can watch me do my setup stuff. How about that? Okay, Tuesday, SFM stream. What day is today? 5-5? Five, five, 15... Ponies! I guess it started, so I'll just post it. Is that... And now... That okay. I don't even want those up anymore. <laughs> no, well, I, I don't know. Last Tuesday, I went normally I go three hours, I went four and a half, so I have lots to make up for. Um, so I could like, I'll just you know, I, I like that. Well, to make up for last week's over, I'll just make this one like an hour long. How about that? How about that? No, that's that's a dumb move. But I literally walked in the door, turned on my computer at 6.01. So, yeah, that was a little late. Yes, it is 5.5, five, 205. Um, are they more clear? I don't know. There was a problem with my mic. Like, for some reason, I wasn't, like... I, I went to go record something yesterday, and it just wasn't working right. Uh, where's my other thing? Oh, yeah, the open screen. Okay, so technically, because there is a Shining Armor model, I can actually finish the um, Full Metal Alchemist video now. That was like the one thing that was holding me back from doing anything. Um, I don't. The thing is, if I wanted to try to get it done for Everfree, that's 20 days, or just around 20 days. I just don't. I don't think I can have it done before then, but I can have most of it. So, it's up to you guys. Do you want me to keep working on the normal thing, or do you want me to try to actually, like, finish that full Metal Alchemist video? It's completely up to you. I really don't care, um, one way or another. But, uh, I prefer, if you guys are going to be watching me do something, it might as well be something that you would want to see. And the Steel Hooves, um, Steel Hooves I needed for a different video. And which of the two I focused on was dependent on which model came available first. Since Shining Armor did, that one is going to be the one that I'm going to focus on. As a not, as the medium project. Okay. I'll be more on the Alchemist thing, so I'll just work on that. Um, I did a little bit more yesterday, but then I forgot that I was actually wanting to do the, um, uh, that lens flare thing for uh, to get on DA and YouTube, so I spent the entire evening doing that instead. So, hence, didn't get anything done. Um, yeah, I did see the new, I did see the new episode, but like I did that and then went on to do something else completely right away. So like it kind of went out of my mind that I even saw it. But yes, I did see the new episode on Saturday. I'm noticing a theme for this, well, I noticed it before too, that there's a lot to do with uh, the 
the episodes on defining who you are and uh because a lot of doing with the cutie marks and this the last one I had to do with cutie marks and um it, it, there's i think it's kind of neat that uh, to have the theme that they're going obviously uh they had the episode for the um her getting her castle set up because that was a needed episode for a transition uh, but this new season is doing pretty good so far the music is pretty awesome all right for those that haven't actually seen what it is that I'm doing a full metal I'm remaking and actually I'm gonna need to have it up for reference I might as well do that now. Four. This one. I'm remaking this one in SM. No, I don't want to like. Um and actually okay, actually we figured out how to make it so I could time this together as a ref uh so you could see both going on at once. As to what I have done so far. God, this is really weird how they have this set up. Um, I don't need to change anything. Nope. Just want to see. Uh, the audio from this is playing. I don't want the audio from that. Let's see if I can time this right again. Come on. Black means I haven't done it yet, so. Then that was Shining Armor stuff, so I don't have that done. That shit looks complicated, but I know how to do it. Especially that part. The more Shining Armor stuff. Anything with him in it, I hadn't done yet. No, I don't know anything about how to do spoiler chat. This shot I worked on was a different map. That's gonna be a complicated one. And the texture's broke on this part, and I have to fix that. Shouldn't be. I I went and re uh, re what do you do that? Confirmed files, and it broke a lot of stuff. So I got to go and fix it all. So I still like that. Ah, it's getting there. And then the shot just does not render right because there's so much going on. Actually, let me check. If I turn off particles... Oh, it still doesn't go that... If I turn off lights... Oh, there it goes. Originally, I was going to do this in 60 FPS, but after doing this, uh, after looking at this and rendered in 60 FPS, it was like, nope! It just was way too smooth. It ruined it. Uh... But yeah, so it's turning out pretty nifty. The, only, the beginning is the only part I really have done, or these parts, so... For done done, anyway. So, and I still gotta go back and refine some of these other ones. The lighting in this is horrible. Horrible, I say. So, anyways. Um... Alright. Because this is an easy one. I'm just gonna go add shiny armor in here. Shining! Hello! That's kind of creepy. Alright, 
So we need Pony to stand evenly spaced, so right about there, down, facing the same direction. All right, they don't have anything blowing. I need to make him taller, just by a little bit. So, first I'm gonna bake his bones. Because when you scale the body, it can break the, uh, um, well, a lot of stuff. Okay. Actually, I kind of put them more about where I needed them to be. So is that a good height? Ugh. Well, for what he's in the light, I can't do that. I did this really weird for a transitioning. I have to fix the lighting. And for right now, it does not look like him. So I need to do something to make sure that that silhouette looks like him. the hair back and have the hair off to the side. Where's the camera? That's what's doing it. Bloom. I believe I had the bloom go up. Yes, I do. So we're going to just have it go partially in. That's a little bit better definition. Okay. So here one, there's four jiggle. Where's your tail? Um, a lot of it is because if I use Steel Hooves, that, that suddenly becomes Fallout. This isn't anywhere, has nothing to do with Fallout, plus there is no Steel Hooves model. Um, so the idea instead is that Shining Armor is Armor, uh, is Al, which makes, I think, kind of sense just in the name, and he's wearing armor. Um, that and uh, Twilight's supposed to be the all-powerful magician type. So that, to me, makes sense, too, and she's the one that has a mentor. It's, uh, I mean, if you want to do character, like, trying to relate characters to each other, um, I think that there's a lot I can relate to based on the original MLP cast, but if I start to go and try to go outside of that, no, it wouldn't. I'd have a lot of problems trying to get it to match. <sighs> Shorter tails, damn it. Because I can use Celestia for a father figure. Um, I am replacing... Um, how does that work? Ah, let's keep it for now. That's fine. I just wanted to at least get him there. Um, how did I do this? Uh, Celestia is the father figure. Um, Spitfire is the Armstrong chick. Because she is the leader of the Wonderbolts, who in essence is supposed to be the Army of the North. Um, because since I have uh, Soren wearing goggles the whole time, it makes... Is that Miles? I forgot the name. Um, and as of right now in the background, they're just like duplicates because I need to retexture some of them. Um, and that is a really good look. I, I went through and I determined all the characters. She worked well for Sloth because of the creepy big whatever type. Um... Kimley was wearing a hat, so that worked well for uh, doing it as uh, Trixie. And then I just put... I think those are lights on her hooves. I didn't actually put actual things. So, it's... Uh, and that, they, yeah, that, that circle is... Well, these are Kimley's actual mark. But, uh, yeah, this is the actual um, one used in the episode, to, or the beginning, too. Which I have to then get him loaded. Actually, didn't... Or did... Or maybe I already got it. I swear that uh, Jerry went and 
um, ported the mail run cycle. Hopefully this is the same structure mail. I do not want to make another one. Uh, Runnings. I know I, I know that one was ported for the males. Go. Uh, resources. Where are the resources? These things always seem to move on me, and I can never figure. There we go. I still need to figure out that model. I want to see how that works because that this sounds like it'd be interesting to me. Uh, mail run cycle's got to be pretty far back, I would think. Pretty sure it's animated too. Headbang. I still love that face. I don't know why. Ah. Oh, not 20. Damn it. 7. 8. Yeah, there's a Maniac model now. I, I kind of... I don't know how well the... the um, well, lots of stuff would work. Um... The, the, it just seems like it'd be a lot of weird. Was, was the run? I know the run was ported. There's the happy walk. Different run. I still, <laughs> pop it, don't drop it. There we go. Where's the thing? Download. Coming. And... Oh, I guess I already had it. <laughs> we'll replace it, whatever. I guess it was mail. I prefer saying running first, because if you're going to look for it, you're, not look you're looking by run at the beginning. So, is this the original structure? Yes. Sweet. Okay. So I can use that. But I want to default that tail bit. Well, unless I can just put it into the position it should be in. Look a little bit off in timing. I'll throw that a little bit forward and then that a little bit forward. Too far. Because it should be delayed a little bit from each other. Yeah, it is. Oh, but the tail three is not. Or the, oh, the tail three. Okay, that is all right. I'm just going to delete tail three more. Oh, no, tail three is going sideways. That's why. Bad tail three. Whatever, that'll work for now. It's the intro to Full Metal Alchemist number, their four, number four intro, which is like always my favorite intro. Hi. Uh, and so I decided, hey, because I was rewatching it again, I want to do this. And so I did. Oh, I'm like, why is it called Twilight Body? I forgot. Uh, to do her legs to make them work right is not easy. It required some, like, 
I had to shrink her other bones, attach her to those bones, lock them in some weird thing. It's she's not easy to animate like that. Uh, uh, I'll fly is definitely my favorite for so far. I, I mean, I made a video from it. I guess that says something. Why is your root locked? Hi, shining armor. Oh yeah, because you're going for okay. What are they doing? Bad shining armor. Okay, so he needs to go faster. Not the root. Okay, so do that, and now we gotta put him in the air. What's my rotation on him? 108, god damn it. And someone decided too if I wanna put him in a helmet or not, because he has the helmet, but to me, but when you put him in the helmet, it loses some of his personality. And so I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm going to leave him without it, except for in certain parts I might keep it. I might put it back on. Okay, so I had to manually do this. I, mean, I didn't want to manually do it because it does a lot, uh, open up the uh, mistakes from in happening. Pretty sure I had it turned into... Okay, now he needs to run up here. I have to do his lighting still, but at least it's getting there. Okay, so we have a floating shining armor. That's good. Uh, don't need him in any of those. Well, I was actually... <clears throat> originally going to... I, I've been trying to work out the concept that... Uh, no, this isn't a BronyCon one. This one I want to have forever free, but that's in three weeks. I don't see myself having it done. It's got a couple a couple shots that are be pathetically easy, no worries, and other ones that are going to be like, oh my god, this will take forever. This is one of those. Uh, just like this one took me an entire weekend to really get animated right. Um, this shot is also going to be difficult because it is... Right here, so I have to scene build this first. So I did start this a bit, building the scene for it. I have a shiny armor, and I have rocks. So I really just have to get this scene built, and I don't have to be specific. It doesn't have to be like exact. It's just gonna be a lot of rocks, and then here's the same thing. Uh, actually, I could be a little more empty in the background there. So we need to build some rocky stuff. So. Uh, I'm just going to keep these called rock. I'm going to call these base rocks. They're going to be the one I copy from. So let's get a look at my rocks. These are from TF2 as well. So everybody has them. But what is That's not what I'm looking for. Get away from me. So those are the tall rocks that I have. And I am in the back corner, right? Uh, close enough. God damn it. It's like what I want you to. There we go. rock um what camera look is that running at 
Is this, okay, I gotta see if I have a button, number button. No, I don't. Would have made it easy. Yeah, <laughs> thing. So, um, okay. Uh, so it's a lot of open ground underneath. So it's just the rocks in the air. So I just need to have rocks planned out to be jumped on. So there's the main ones jumping off from at the beginning. Uh, camera wise, I'm gonna say this is probably a 35. I'm gonna run it at 50 though. The camera starts just straight all the way through. Yeah, just pans over. All right, so we just gotta build some rocks. I need a flat-ish rock to be getting. So I'm gonna use this one. Actually making a ro the ground explode like that is really easy because all you need is just rocks that look like this and literally just make them blow up out of the ground, clip through. I've done it before for other things and it looks pretty good. Alright, so we'll have shiny armor. How big should he be at the beginning here? It's like a poop pose! That's pretty cool. Um, this just shows that sometimes it, you don't need to be exact. You just need to make something that looks close to. Like, that pose is kind of weird. Well, for a lot of, like, the rising rocks, um, you don't need particles for some stuff. Like, uh, here, when Christmas goes to come out of the ground, I just literally I have, like, some snow models that I just push out of the ground. So, it's not a particle effect, it's just models that lift up. So... Ooh. I thought it came up pretty good. Whoa, whoa. Can I find it again? Yes. Here it, uh... And... Boom! I still don't like how she she's working here. Like her head just seems stiff or something. I need to figure out um, a better way to do her. That sounded weird, but again, I just want to set up the bases. I thought I did something else with like explosion of part of ground like that. No. And then just shining armor. So I need him at that part of the camera, so we'll take shed armor. We'll put him yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh you know what? The rock The Rock. Probably be a little lower. This rock I wanna make sure is accurate. Cause this is what like up close and starting but after that I really I don't care he's just gonna jump between stuff okay there uh, that should work so maybe a little lower okay so shining armor starting here And then just putting rocks in the background. So we keep that rock. This will be the base rock. I just want to make sure. There's certain ones that I want to make sure I know for sure that um, he's going to be on. I'm not reading him. Oh, this is a. Uh... Oh, I'm doing his think thing. Hello. You miss some. You miss stuff. If the CMC get their cutie marks, it will be the last season and towards the end. 
it changed the dynamic of the show too much at this point. It, the, being that the focus as of right now has been a lot to do with uh, Destiny and Cutie Marks, I could maybe see it happening this season, but it, in general, I would prefer that they never get them. I mean, obviously, in the essence of life, yes, I do want them to, but for the show, no. Um, they're kind of... it. They would have to move into a completely new role, and a lot of that would show a progression in their life, and that really wouldn't work very well. Um, they they're doing they're sh the Twilight already. People got angry when she progressed in life by becoming a princess. So I mean, it, any change that people aren't going to like, and any kingdom mark that they get, they're not nobody's going to be happy with. So uh, it's better to I'd say just let them. Um, let them not never get them. I not can actually do this. Group actors. Even though there's only one actor, it's my way of remembering things. Gray means ignore, so. Now I just need more rocks. So which rock? We're gonna grab this rock. And I'm keeping all these separate. Because I want to be able to pull out specific ones for while they look instead of digging around for them. So, a lot of these are going to have to be a lot bigger. Alright, where am I going here? So, oh, I want to go to... So there's a rock here. Go a little further out, further down, and much bigger. Yeah. I'm gonna get just some base lights set up. Bab's got it, but she's not part. She's part of the CMC, but she's not really a main character. Um, she she can help show progress progression, but anybody else, not really. Um, I can't see anybody else in the CMC getting it. Dude, when I say when I think CMC, I'm thinking the main three. Um, I'm not really putting any of the others into um, in there at all. But even with Babs, they kind of just were like nonchalant about it. Like, yeah, yeah, she got her she figured out what she's going to do with the rest of life. Whatever, move on. This guy this way, but I'm going to anyway.
I don't really consider Shining Armor a ruler. Oh, well, I guess, I mean, he's married to somebody that is, so in a way he is a prince, but I wouldn't consider him somebody that's actually taking charge. I haven't really seen him do much of that. He's just been doing more of his protectorate role. Uh, deeper blue. Some of that distance bits are going to be tough. There's no Abitron's camera. There we go. Alright, I'll need a secondary one over there to fix the rest of the bad lighting, but that's fine for now. Alright, no more rocks. More rocks. Oh, I probably should get a couple on shining here. And the light's going to be coming from this side, okay. These aren't probably going to be final lights. I just need something so that I know what I'm working with a bit. So that's what these are doing. All right. And your eyes are weird. There. Uh, there. Let's give him a weird face. First, got to stare at him. Ah! There. I am turning armor. Ah, oh, that looks painful. Yay! Ow, ow! What is your bottom jaw doing? make you a little bit happy too. Yay! He's happy. That is happy. Makes my jaw hurt just looking at that. Anyways, alright, back to things. Alright, I had the light main. Now that, uh, I know a little bit better how that's looking back there. I'm gonna go and up the brightness to better match that. But for one, this should have 
I'm gonna keep this as the main background. So this is gonna be the light that's hitting everything. But just like with models, I'm going to add a rim light. Though a lot of the times for these backgrounds, I have to make one specific to like each rock because it's really hard to get it specific. And even these rim lights don't even have to be that strong, like um, that accurate, like right on the edge. Like here, all it is is it's a light that is just making these edges a little str brighter than than these sides. And I, I should probably add an ambient then too. Kind of make that feel complicated. Shadows aren't around on this, or they, yes they are. Should they're on on the main too, so let's dumb that down. Okay, so that should be good there. Drop the ambient just a bit so that it does make that set of the rock just a little darker. Up the rim just a bit. I move the rim around here a bit. Okay. Rims usually keep the shadows on still, because at least it does give a little bit more definition for. Okay. We're getting there. The Twilight one's being worked on still, but I want to try to finish this one as an in between, so uh, since the models are now available for it, I might as well get it done. So this is background rocks. All right. How much rocks do I have to go deal with here? Um, I like this one. Why is that one in the middle, but all the rest are at the bottom? I, I don't know, and I don't want to know. Rock, and I was gonna pick a random one. Pick number four. No, wait, that's number what I had before, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Yes. Go there. All right, this is a pretty flat one. Yeah. So let's say that this is the one he lands on first. So let's go. Oh, there's only one that one that he lands on. Oh, shaking. So the one he lands on. It's gonna be about. Cause this one, no, is this the same one? No, it's just very similar. But it's different. Because it's angled, so it just makes sense to land on. So from here to... Whoa, that's like... Way too far for him to jump. Even that's too far. Shenninger might be athletic, but he's not a superman. These close rocks, I kind of want to have a, uh, a little bit more unique lighting because I have I want to be able to control them. So let's see how that jump goes again. Okay, 
Okay, so it's not that far. It's basically cartwheels. Let's get shiny armor in here again. Um, oh, we have camera. Shining over goes over there. He's way too small, so we need to get that rock closer. Planning. I do want to have the rocks feel a bit separated, not just the same, so a little bit more to the side. Yes, there we go. And now if I throw a shining umber at that rock, he can throw his wife, so I can throw him. Um, the size-wise, it makes sense. I don't need the audio. Computer Joe. I can zoom in a little bit there, maybe. I'm just moving just a bit closer. If I want to make the whole scene build, I don't want to like have something wrong with it early on. And a little bit further back there. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting making him do a backflip. Um, Though I'm probably gonna have him do a backflip, but corkscrew halfway through, or right at the right when he takes off, to I think that might look better. Getting a pony to do that will be funny. But the nice thing is, even if you, when you watch this, I mean, you can tell that Al jumps, but the specifics of the jump don't need to make any sense. But even like this part, when he comes flying over, that'll actually be pretty easy. Then the rocks lifting up actually will be also easy. Like this. Hello! It's actually kind of like simulating what the rock there is doing. So if this camera moves and pans, when this pan, everything moved. Because it was a, well even when I do that now. Is there a way to do that on this? to be like super zoomed in or something. No, probably the other way around. I like it at 50. But you know what? I'm just doing my my own way. Screw you guys. It's gonna be my my way. It's gonna be. But this does mean that I have to interspace various rocks at different distances to create the right effect. Heights. I'm gonna make sure the rocks are tall enough so that they actually disappear into the ground. I 
think this rim is going to have to be by rock, which really sucks because it needs to disable shadows. Oh god! So bright. Let's do this rock. There's going to be so many lights in this shot. I'm gonna make a little bit of like a border for the background because that's the only thing I'm worried about is how to make it so that this background fades in right. Go away. Uh, so I'm gonna do this is the background rocks. I'm gonna take space rocks. I'm gonna copy just a bunch of them. I don't want the tall ones though. I want the fat ones. So these two. This one will work too. This one. These are okay if I run into the skylight because I kind of want them to fade off. Okay. So now we're going to have rocks here, here, and so like that. And that looks too much like the other side, so we're going to go with this over here. Say that looks good. Get 
it's supposed to look like it's super far away. So put it back about here. Uh, Jay, I do Tuesday streams. <laughs> this was planned for a week. I can head <laughs> I can head over there afterwards though. I usually go till nine. I think he's hitting on me. He's been drinking too much. <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> His tongue, he is ginger keen. <laughs> the thing is, I know you would.
No, I will not do a Sonic. Yes, I will not work with Sonic. There was going to be lots of rocks, and I'm not done with my rocks. Actually, I should pro. Um, there was this uh, background rocks. Now you make rocks. Um, I'm. There's going to be a lot. Whoa, wrong one. Uh, a lot more rocks to come. Like here. I'm going to see if this works. I don't think it's going to. If it does, it'd be awesome though. Oops. <laughs> I did. <laughs> That's awesome. Now I have set down rocks. Actually, it didn't work how I wanted it to, though. Well, maybe. No, it's not going to work that way. I just need to make more rocks, because I need to make a rock wall. So... Gonna shift this around a little bit. I really like that. You're not really nobody's gonna notice. I think I'll just keep it like that. a little bit, a bit better. I need to balance out that sky, though. Ah! I can... There! Mouse clerks! Uh, yeah, I gotta balance out the sky, so I gotta take another one of these blue lights and move it over. So, this is gonna be a long flight. Oh, actually not as bad as I thought. Even if top speed this map is huge. Okay, so that balanced out the sky a bit. white light now. The white light's just getting drowned out by the blue, I think. Yeah, it is. That's fine. I know there are ways to fix it, but I'll do it later. Okay, everything does fade away into a white. So that actually should be pretty easy to do later. 
as of right now though I just need to place some flat rocks around too so I'm gonna take those base rocks that I have here these ones I'm probably not gonna just matter as much about so I'm gonna use this one This is just going to be used to kind of prevent the ground from having clipping. This one that'll make a group. These I want to have pretty low. It's supposed to be just like the uh, ground for the non visible portions, so. I'm going to slowly fade these in, down. Really don't need to rock everything. I just need to rock whatever's gonna be visible. So up the closer it is, the more important. But really it's gonna come down to once I actually animate the camera and go through here, then I can go through and worry about the actual specifics for it. Like what rocks are where. So I might just keep it at this point for now and then fill in the gaps when I need to. So I'm going to say, let's get Shining Armor started. Say, so he needs to do a, a flip and then a jump off of the thing. Um, I have a front flip bit, but I don't have a back flip bit. And even then, he's going to have to back flip here, isn't he? No, it's a side flip. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Alright, so I need to make him push off. So, I'm not going to worry about the timing for this or the camera. All I'm going to worry about right now is him pushing off and flying. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. Camera can follow him however I want to do it. So, does he do any magic along the way or does he just jump? Just jumps. Okay. Because that, how many frames do I have to work with? Is that two seconds? Right? Nine. Five, seven, fifty point seven. Five, five, seven. Oh, it's three. I had three seconds. Nice. All right. So I'm gonna do it every three frames. I can adjust the frames where I need to be afterwards. That's kind of what I did in the uh, in this shot. Do I still have the bookmark saved from this one? No. I used to, but I mean the uh, keyframe. You can see that how it was just evenly spaced. Those were. 
six six uh, frames. So I'll do that the same on this one. on the oh yeah, I guess one tenth is six frames okay wait is this saved in I think this is running in um, 60 frames per second Put this one folder back again there we go Why is it this far back? There's a way to. Might have been too far back. There's a way to modify the frame rate specifically within here. But I swear it's. Where did I find that again? It was actually really useful. Session, there we go. Frame rate 60. Yeah. If you actually go all the way back to the session and change your frame rate here, it will instantly change it without having to do renders. Um, so I, I technically should change that back down to 30, but not a big worry for right now. But good to know that that's why there are six frames between every tenth. All right. For one, Shining Armor's got to fix his mouth. Ah! I think for this part, because it's going to be easier on the hair, I might give him his helmet. Yay! It's like, I'm going to play a pack hack with the ground! Alright, so I'm going to have a... Base pose that's better than this one. So if he's going to push off... He needs to lean forward a bit, so I'm going to have him lean forward. Where's your other bones? I don't want to look at the rocks. There we go. Ah, there's his bones. One, he's got to be on the rock, so we're going to put here. Keyframing can take the longest part to be longer than animating, because this is where you're putting all the detail into it. Male legs, I usually just yank the knee up a little bit here to get it to look right. Is it this one? This one I'm gonna yeah, actually yank up that way a bit. Actually, I don't even know if that's gonna work there. Because these legs do work weird. Yeah, that works. 
Also, this time I guess sucks. I gotta work with the ground. Bro, it was so easy working with uh, Twilight flying because um, she was not interacting with the ground at all. <laughs> All right, give me like, give me until at least like after eight, <laughs> then I'll I'll see what I can do. This is my get stuff done time. I want to get stuff done. you didn't. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I feel his butt needs to go down more. I care about the armor clipping, That'll, that's easy to fix later. I'm not even later, it doesn't even matter. Okay, back leg looks broken, doesn't matter because not visible. Like he's pushing off from there. 
Which I might I might drop them down a little bit more at that point, but for now, the nice thing about keyframing is I don't have to worry about that, and I'm just going to go with it as it is. So I need to make sure his back legs are locked, and that's going to be his front, uh, his front legs too. Um, I'm actually just going to make sure it's the front right one. Want to really make sure he gets springy. legs are just so, uh, whatever, good enough, it looks springy. This leg's gonna be horrible. <laughs> um, um, it didn't zero it, did it? It did. That's different. <laughs> they are ah. They, they work very, very different from the others. Nope. There. That's the base. So if I bend this up, it eats itself. So if I bend it up, it pull it out, and then bend this one down and pull it up. It looks horrible, but better. Who cares? I'm just gonna say that he's a bonus order. Oh, where did his leg go? Eating itself. Stupid my legs. That'll have to work. Thankfully, he's going to move so fast. Okay, this leg. Okay, I still have the front, or the, all the stuff copied, so I'm just going to copy the base here and there so that I don't break something permanently. This because this one's pulling back. Kind of. Actually, I might, I'm going to keep it up a bit first. This is going to be leaning back into, so I'm going to actually get them a little lower. And what I like about doing it this way is that, if again, if I need to change anything, positioning, it's so easy just to go and copy it from something else, or 
change the one one positioning or how angle how this looks and voila you're done um, everything can be still blend together fine I don't know if he can reach his leg from here it's kind of sad you can't reach your own leg yeah I think I might have stretched him too far whatever it's part of animation stretch yeah I'm gonna need to have to push more uh, more down but I might actually keep this just because um, I can use it as a blend point. How broken is that leg? Lighting usually gives it away. He's doing his exercises. I'm just to say that's good for now. So we take everything for the shot before. Now Shiny's gonna start launching into space. I don't need a lot left right ball anymore. So right leg is gonna be back to default. Whatever he's doing, it looks painful. I want to see how this stuff melt, like merges. It's gonna look. It's gonna probably look so bad, so bad. Okay, his butt needs to be centered. <laughs> that leg. Best I can do. It's gonna have to make do. I don't know if I can adjust the bones more, but because the armor is stiff, I can't do that. I 
A lot of this is this is only going to be a sh uh, literally a, a less than a second. I mean, the shot itself is, is three seconds, so there's a lot going on in that three seconds. So much going through so fast that your motion blur is going to hide a lot of it. So my idea, or what it comes down to, is just making it look as close to what I want it to look like as possible, um, and the rest will just kind of work or do its own magic. So, like here, I'm just going to say that that's good enough for that part. I'm going to go to next shot, and so now I need to have shining actually pulling back so this is still gonna be crouched a bit but just a little further back so it's gonna be unlock these pull it back a little bit chest two still gonna be a bit down chest one's probably gonna be a bit forward still less turned and now that uh, let me see here chest 2 is going to be compressed down like this The only animation I'm not worrying about, so I'm just getting it out of the way right now. Again, not worrying about the knee, how the knees actually look. This leg actually is starting to take off a little bit, which is fine. What it comes down to is how does it look from the camera's angle. So from this camera's angle, that looks horrible, so let's fix it. I can turn this a bit. I just try not to. Especially if it's starting to take off now. And this actually shouldn't be turned out like that. It should be turned, or in like that. It should be turned that way and then this way. It needs to give that actual power to the push. Okay, I'm gonna see if that's good for now. Now the, the actual push off part. Cause he needs to land on his Trying to think of the best way to actually do the motion through the air. Um, 
because a lot of that's going to be dependent on how he takes off here. Um, I think I'm going to want him to push off because I don't want to have his back showing. So if I'm going to do anything, I have to have it shown on uh, have him turn towards the camera. In that case, I still want to have both the legs locked because I need to have it keyframed up until the legs leave the ground to make sure that they um, look right in that sense. So I'm going to pull the legs out here. this foot turned at this last second so that it actually makes sense with the push and yeah, so that his leg doesn't break any more than it already is. Alright, this leg I'm going to have leave first. So as such, I need to pull the pelvis out enough so that that leg is straight. And that means also this is going to be turned because I'm going to have him turning in the air here. This. Because that's how fast it's going, I'm just going to have this turned more and already having this leg pull back with it. are not going to stretch out to her, are they? No! <laughs> uh, that's, that looks weird. Whatever, maybe if I do this. Looks okay in camera, so that's fine. Gonna be pulling in so far. This one's gonna be pushing out.
And again, like if I if I didn't like how this one part looked here, um, I could easily just go back and change it. That's why I'm not like super refining anything because I don't care. Uh, I can go back and edit anything I want. So why spend all the time doing that extra little cleanup on every shot when I just want to get the basis down, then go through and refine it a bit more. So. Uh, okay, his head does look a little weird there. <laughs> you what, mate? Put your leg out Okay. Now this back leg is going to be the important one here. I need to make sure that it stays to about the same spot. Thankfully I can just go back and forth between these shots and, and be fine. So I need him going for that rock. So I need him to go up. Whoa. Whoa. I'll get rid unlock this. Now this is actually a little easier now because I don't have to worry about the body interacting with anything. So. I'm just going to stretch the leg a little bit. I'm going to extend this. And this is going to be a body turn. This left thigh is going to stay like behind there. This one's going to start pulling up a little. Oh, it already kind of is. I'm going to have it extend just a, for a little bit of time to give that feeling of a, of a push off. But I'm not going to turn it at the thigh, I'm going to turn it at the leg here. Copying a base so I know where I'm work, what I'm work, uh, going with here. So his head should be good. Um, should start turning a bit. Chest two should start leading. Actually, chest one and chest two. I'm gonna f go back to base on. Whoa! Yeah, they're way off. Okay. I assumed he was turned more than he was. Go back to before I paste it. Okay, so that's looks like now. Okay, at least to the positions, so I know what I'm what I'm working with. I'm gonna pull chest two out a bit more. So not chest two. I'll try. It. Yeah, chest one, um, because I want to fix that break in his armor. Okay. Okay. I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to pull pelvis just a bit more. Chest two needs to turn back in. Okay, holding on to rotation. That's, I'm just uh, going with what looks right, what doesn't. I 
section might right there. So I'm just gonna I keep moving bones until I find something that looks right. position, but I think when moving fast, it's going to be fine. This is a thing. I say it's good for now. And then... Alright, so I need to have him land there. So I'm going to do position here. I think of the best way to do this here. Okay. Whoops. Run. Don't modify the entire model on its timeline. No, thing for that rock. I'm fabulous. I don't know if I want to keep him spinning or if I want to have him um, pull out of it here. Actually, I have an idea. Ooh, that guy should be kind of cool. I think I'm going to have to work, try that. Um, I'm not telling you what it is.
think though I'm going to keep this with the tail. This leg actually could cross? No. Stupid legs and your brokenness. Again, things look broken for now, but they will be fixed. like I want to have straight out. <laughs> da, 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 da. just don't work the same on the uh, males as they do on the females. Normally I could get a lot better a stretch before things started breaking.
this is like a realistic angle that he could hit. For that push off, it should be higher. direction yes To just kind of show an example as to what it looks like so far with how it how things are, um, if I just spline this quick, this is going to be a very dirty way of doing it, but but it just shows kind of how things would look. N nowhere timed and without the refinements, because he's going to when he actually pushes off, it's going to be more delays to make it look right. But that's just kind of an idea as to, that's just one thing I like about splines, it allows you to easily f see how things are going. So if I had to do it, I'd actually have it so that, like this time right here, was drastically dropped. Actually, I'm going to grab this. I would go drop this to half that. And I would probably drop this down too. I drop all these by one. I right, this first one by quite a bit. Let's see what that changed it to. Yeah, add oh. Yeah, I have to add a little bit more to that uh, one part, but it's looking pretty good so far otherwise. It's getting there. One and two and one and two and one and two. All right, but I like having it. While I'm working on stuff, I like having it all evenly spaced because it's easier to, to copy between and move when everything's the same size. Well, see, reading what you guys t uh, type is takes time. So usually, when it comes down to it, I don't really pay attention to it unless I see something specific to me. So you guys can have story time all you want. Oh god, that's a big story. Ricky, that's. That was that was a coolest story ever. Okay, Jason, it's like seven past eight. Okay, okay. And actually, because I wanted to, I wanted to try to get stuff done. I pro I'm considering running another stream like uh, tomorrow or Thursday to try to get some stuff done, especially on this, because um, it's going to take some time. But um, all right, somebody wants to steal me. So I think I'm going to go and, like, I guess be a social person with with a black guy, apparently. And, uh, <laughs> and all right, but I am probably going to, st I, I'm going to probably stream tomorrow or something. So to tomorrow or Thursday, uh, I'll, I'll warn you about five minutes before I start. <laughs> we'll go from there, so. Um. So yeah, and I'll work more on this. I need to kind of think of how that's going to land anyway. So. And a black guy. Yes. I'm glad that I've recorded myself saying that. So anyway, uh, yeah, I will. So I'm going to cut this here, and then I will, I will do it again. That just sounds really weird. Soon. So, all right. Uh, close everything. Okay, bye-bye.